So recently I watched this video by Greg Eisenberg right over here and I couldn't help but to notice after watching the video there were a lot of questions and I thought to myself well hey I own a directory that's successful uh, it earns around fifteen hundred dollars to two thousand dollars a month and I'm also building for different directories as we speak so I'm really all in on this directory game um, I spent the last nine months kind of fully invested like quit my job to fully go into this directory game to see how legit it is. I figured I would spend some time answering some of the questions, debunking some skeptics, but also just answering some of the really common questions because I see them all the time. Uh, so if you watch this video or you are looking to build a website directory, hopefully this will give you some good information on how to build a profitable website directory in 2025. So real quick, I started my first website directory back in October of 2022. I was self-teaching myself SEO at the time, just learning through YouTube. And I built a website as just a way to practice what I learned. Let's see, October by June, 2023. So uh, about eight months, about eight months later, this first website directory that I built um, started making around like $1,000 to $1,200 a month, like recurring. Uh, it gets around 50 to 60,000 monthly visitors and you can see here how much I earned. Quick note, I said 2K a day because I also sell digital products on this directory website, which is a whole thing I'm not even gonna explain, but um, it is an extra angle once you get a lot of traffic to, your, to a directory website, uh, but that accounts for about uh, four to $500 a month on top of this. All right, so to be clear, I'm gonna be going through the comment section and just giving my two cents. Uh, if you see any questions that I didn't answer, um, add them below. Here's the first question that we saw. What is the use of a business directory if ChatGPT search will stop any traffic towards directories? AI uses info from directories, but the searcher doesn't need to go to the directories. Information is given inside GPT search. All clicks are basically stolen. So what's the point, basically? Depending on the kind of directory, I would say I would be more nervous than others. Yeah, the directories that I find are have the greatest hedge. Uh, they're all location-based. My most successful directory, if I told you the keyword, you might think it's as easy as going to Google Maps and typing it in. Once you kind of go into the niche itself and the community, and you look on Reddit, you look on TikTok, you just kind of start to do some social listening on the niche itself, and you, you start to realize, wow, it's like kind of hard to find these. Even when you type in Google Maps, the queries that pop up are not accurate. It pulls up all this kind of sort of junk that's not exactly what you're looking for. So Google Maps is failing them. Um, they're asking for it on TikTok and Reddit. And there's no like curated directory that just lists all the locations in a nice, simple format. Uh, we're, we're talking basics like store address, hours, um, hours of operations, phone number. Um, and I like to add extra, you know, convenience. Uh, so like reviews, um, an image of the outside. It's a long-winded way to say that it depends on the directory. The use of a business directory is sometimes as simple as solving for convenience. Uh, that's the problem that you're solving, right? When you combine that with an underserved niche that's getting 50,000 monthly clicks, uh, searches every single month, it's, it's, it's a good opportunity. It seems like directories are following the Yellow Pages book fate. Dude, I know Yellow Pages was much bigger back then, but Yellow Pages still gets millions and millions of monthly visitors, so people still use it. Don't underestimate the boomers. I've built a directory before, and yes, the potential revenue is not high, but can be worth it. For the most part, yeah, that's true. It depends how you monetize it. So I would say there's really two main ways people monetize directories. The first one is display ads, right? You just have a ton of traffic, and then you display uh, you use Ezoic or Mediavine, AdSense. These are all these different ways to monetize your directory with ads. Um, the second way is through selling featured or sponsored listings. There is a very, very well-known directory owner called Tim Stodds. Um, I think on YouTube he goes by Stodzy. He's very transparent that his directory, Sober Nation, which is in the rehab niche, um, he was selling uh, featured listings for $129 a month, and he had many, 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 many rehabs pay him. 
So at the height of his directory, he was pulling in 250K a year. You can definitely get there, but it's really rare. But I would agree, the potential revenue is not super, super high, but um, they could be pretty robust and they could kind of like stick onto Google for a while. I haven't really worked on my website in months and it's continuing to get 50, 60K a month in, in monthly visitors. Okay, so this guy, John, this is awesome. Question, what is the best way to find the current directories that are out there to know if one already exists for the niche you're building in? This is where I use Ahrefs. I mean, it's it can be as simple as just Google searching it, but what Ahrefs allows you to do is look at all the different, it first helps you understand all the different types of keywords um, that are similar, that might be getting way more search volume, but effectively you could just go to Google and type in your niche and just look for directory websites. There are so many niches where directories already exist and they get no traffic, uh, very, very little traffic. That doesn't mean that you can't go and get traffic. <laughs> I mean, I would say out of all five directories, I've done a good amount of competitive research and most of them have competitors that are directories. But when you look at it from an SEO lens and you start to look at their on-page SEO, you start to analyze their backlink structure, you just that that's what gives you confidence on whether or not you should kind of move forward or not. Um, it's not whether or not current directories exist. So it's like, oh, like I can't make one. It's like, nope, like actually most directories, they don't have great on-page SEO optimization. Um, they don't do any backlinks, which in my opinion, aren't even necessary depending on the niche. If you can't afford Ahrefs or SEMrush, just look on Google and just like start clicking down to like the second or third page and look for directories that way. Um, I will point out that if you do use all the tools he shows and throw 10 directories at the wall to hope one works, it's a minimum of $300 a month. If you catch a fish, great, but might be an expensive fishing pole. I think Goin's Groove is referring to just all the different softwares that are required to start a directory. If you do it like John Rush did in the video, perhaps it is quite expensive, but you can get started with just WordPress, a domain, and a theme. When I built my first directory, the one that has been monetizing for a year and a half, um, averaging 1,500 to 2,000 a month, I quite literally copied and pasted. I had Google Maps in one on one side of my screen and I had WordPress on the other side, and I quite literally copied and pasted the store hours, the phone numbers, um, the images, literally all of that was so manually done because I had no idea of how to do it any faster. The thing is like, if you're committed to like increasing your monthly recurring revenue and having a digital asset that, that makes money pretty passively, then you don't have to spend that much money. You can just get started. The tools make it really, really nice, but when you're just starting, you don't need to spend $300 a month. Uh, let's see, this guy says, I don't wanna sound like a hater because I can easily admit I'm wrong if the data shows it, but I always raise an eyebrow to Good Samaritans on presenting the easy ways to make money. If the powder is fresh, tell your friends, but not the public. He's saying maybe we're too late for this ball game. Uh, for instance, would you risk going into drop shipping when there are a million influencers trying to sell their courses on it? I see what this guy's saying. Yeah, this guy is, I kind of disagree with this. Dropshipping is just e-commerce, man. Directories is just, <laughs> directories is really just formatting information in a way that Google prefers. And that's kind of SEO too, right? I can see the frustration that this person has through, through his words. Um, but I also think that when you see a video like this, you obviously don't copy the exact same niche and kind of copy the same workflow. What you should take away from this video um, is that people are making money from it and you should give it a try if you want, but maybe find your own niche, maybe find your own workflow. Like I would never make a directory in the AI tool space. My directories are all super boring. It's like porta potty rentals, liquidation stores, flea markets, like stuff that is so boring and so, it's just so boring. Like I, there's no other word to describe it, but I've just found a way to 
do it. I, I, I know what I'm looking at because I've done it before and I know it has a good chance of monetizing pretty decently. So I guess what I'm saying is that directories work just like drop shipping still works, but it's um it's not a it's not a it's not a get quick it's not a get rich quick scheme, right? It's um it's a it's an SEO focused kind of distribution first business model that takes months for reference. My directories on average take six months to start seeing like significant traffic in like the thousands, like five to 10,000 range. And then, um, you know, even longer once you get to like 20,000 plus. Yeah. Like, I guess if anything, I'm proof that it works and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, I didn't listen to anyone's like process. I kind of just tried it. Okay. So this guy said, Okay, so I create a directory, say it's criminal lawyers near me, just a dumb example. How do I then populate the directory with businesses on this directory topic on day zero? Okay, so this is a really common question, which is where do I get the data? Personally, I use Outscraper, but the answer is web scraping tools. And I will actually log in so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so real quick, like this is, I'm you know, obviously I'm not sponsored, but um, I use Outscraper. There's so many other web scraping tools out there, but for an example, for criminal defense lawyer, what was it? Criminal lawyers near me. So basically what you wanna do is use this scraper tool, services by brand, um, Google, and then Google Maps scraper. Um, so you can look up criminal lawyers like on Google Maps like I did. And do you see how that text underneath the, um, the 4.7 and the five stars, that's like an actual Google Maps um, category. So you can quite literally just use criminal justice attorney, oh, sorry, by clicking categories, criminal justice attorney, there it is. And then from here, you know, you can choose which states that you want. And then you can choose, um, you know, if you want emails and you can even choose like if you want, um, the postal code, the full street address, if you want longitude, latitude. So these are the ones that I choose, which is why it's like defaulted to this. But yeah, so basically once you hit get data, it'll give you an idea of how much it's gonna cost. So $53 to $353, it's usually less. Like it's usually on the lower end, I should say. But yeah, you would just confirm that and then it would basically give you this, um, this CSV file, as you can see here. I think, yeah, so this, <laughs> So this, uh, this CSV file has 61,000 rows. So that's how you get the data. You clean those 60, 61,000 rows. It's like a very tedious task. Just because it scrapes the data, it doesn't mean it's super accurate. You're, you're gonna get a lot of junk. So you have to clean the data, right? You have to verify these are actually criminal attorney companies or whatnot. And then once that happens, then you could manually format it onto your website, your WordPress website, or do it programmatically. But we're not gonna get into it, into that. So, by the way, criminal lawyers, probably so competitive. I mean, I would not go into that. Uh, so a directory is a list of stuff. It's just a list, is that right? What is a directory other than a list? It's a list. It's a well-curated list um, that is optimized for on-page SEO, right? Like your domain name has your keyword, um, your slug, your header one tag, your images, alt text, every single thing is optimized for SEO, but it's a really good list for SEO. Uh, that's, that's the easy way to put it. The validation process is that easy here? Only Google Keywords Planner. I would not leave it up to only Google Keywords Planner. I think it's a great free tool. I would always go with Ahrefs, that's my chosen tool for um, honestly keyword research, competitive research and backlink research. The thing is that even with third party data like Ahrefs, you'll see a keyword that has 200,000 monthly uh, vis uh, searches. It'll say it's not very difficult to rank. It's called keyword difficulty. It will be like under 10, which is like very easy, but it won't actually be easy to rank for because when you look at who's ranking for them, the quality of their backlinks, you wanna check how many pages they have, how much topical authority they have. I'm kind of going into the nerd rabbit hole of SEO, but 
Basically, I would not just rely on Google Keyword Planner. I would learn how to use a tool called Ahrefs, where you can validate the overall interest uh, through Reddit forums. Uh, TikTok is really, really good. A culmination of all that should give you a decent idea of whether or not you can build this directory and get people to come visit. What are some of the best examples of directories today? Um, Care.com, Craigslist. I mean, those are two of the behemoths. There's so many small directories that I find on a daily basis where they get like 20 to 60,000 monthly searches and they're probably making like two to $5,000 monthly passively, but like they're in the weirdest niches. That's what I'm saying. It's like they're all in very, very boring, boring niches that you would never expect. Uh, but those are the best examples. I think Care is doing like over 150 million in revenue a year. So um, how to create an AI tools directory like Futurepedia. I would be very careful about an AI tool directory. It depends on your goals, right? My goal with creating a directory is to have passive income. Like I want a, a I want a web asset that's gonna make me passive money with a lot of time up front and then very, very, very little time to maintain it. I want it to be extremely high net margin. I choose evergreen niches. I don't wanna have to continue updating it every single month. You know, I don't mind spending like a few hours a month, but it's just not my goal to like continue maintaining these, if that makes sense. This guy says <laughs> he's been working on a directory as a side project. Um, he, uh, I guess he's talking about John Rush finished one in 50 minutes and this guy feels like he needs to change my process. This is a hot take, but I actually, I would actually rather spend a month or two months building out a directory and doing the proper research and like just making sure that I'm aiming at the right target I mean, maybe the way he does it, it's not that much work to just throw up a directory, but I've done programmatic SEO directories and they just they just don't rank as well. I'd be very curious to see anyone who, who has crushed it with just a programmatic SEO directory. The ones that have had the most success are all the static pages. So 50 minutes is like stupid, dude. That's Maybe he found a formula that works for him and maybe I'm just slow, but personally I spend a month I spent two months working on a very nice directory. So don't feel like you have to create one in 50 minutes. Okay, yeah, a lot of people are kind of like confused and they don't really believe it. Um, maybe I'll make more videos on kind of the many different steps that are required to build a directory because based on this comment section, a lot of people didn't really grasp the full step-to-step -step process. Um, so maybe I'll make some more content around that, but I think that's probably enough. I mean, I think I've been live for quite a while now. Those are all the questions that I'm gonna answer for now. This video is getting pretty long, but if you are interested in building business directories, um, comment down below, let me know. I'm genuinely curious. And if there are any questions that you have about this video or just business directories in general, holla at your boy, just comment down below. Um, and with that, um, Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See ya.